Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go over the line break tag. The line break tags creates a line break between um, one or more lines in your HTML file. But first let's go over why we even need this tag. Here I have my hello world page and as you can see I have my title and in the body on the page itself it'll say hello world, how are you? If I bring my page up in Chrome it'll look like this. Let me zoom in so you can see it clearer. So the problem arises if I want to put extra white space in the body. White space in this case refers to either a space, a tab, or a line break. Now if I save this and I refresh, what do you think the page would look like? Nothing's changed. And that's because the browser, which is essentially a computer program, ignores extra white spaces. It'll only look for the first white space and ignore the others. So let me put it back to where it was. If I get rid of this white this space between hello and, wor and wonderful, you can see that it also removes the space here. But if I add more than one space, and save it and a refresh it only adds one space and the same is true for a line break so just remember when you're creating your HTML page you can put as many line breaks as you want even between the tags themselves and they'll have no effect on the page itself here I'm going to save it and refresh and nothing happens okay let's clean our HTML backup So this is where the line break tag comes in. If you remember in a previous video, we covered the anatomy of, of an HTML, HTML page, and I said that most tags have an opening and closing tag. And there are some exceptions, and the line break is one of them. So the line break tag looks like this. You have your opening bracket, BR, and the line break tag is what's called a self-closing tag. So instead of a separate closing tag, we're going to put our forward slash here and the closing bracket. Remember, other tags, we have the opening tag here and then the closing tag, which is identical to the opening tag, but um, it has the, the forward slash. With the line break tag, it's self-closing, so you don't need an opening tag. It's just one. I'm going to save this and refresh and you'll see that the browser now respects the line break and puts how are you on the next line. Now what I'd like to do is go back to my HTML and clean things up a bit so it's easier to read. I usually put the line break on a separate line so I know exactly where they occur. And when I save this and refresh, as you can see, it still remains the same. So that's pretty much it for the line break. Um, nothing too fancy. Uh, it's just something you need to know in, uh, to create extra lines. Now there are other tags to do that. The paragraph tag, the div tag, there's a few others, but the line break tag is the most straightforward. Uh, before we close, let me show you one more thing. We talked about having multiple spaces and how the browser won't respect that. But there is a trick to adding more spaces if you do want to. Let's say, for example, I wanted multiple spaces between hello and wonderful. And to do, to do that, we use what's called a character entity. Uh, there are a few character entities in HTML, but for us, we're interested in the non-breaking space character entity. And in, it looks like this. You put an ampersand, NB for non-breaking, SP for space, and a semicolon. And this is the standard format for a character entity. It always starts with an ampersand and ends with a semicolon. And this is the command that you give it. There are others for, uh, for copyright, for example, if you wanted to create the copyright logo, you use that character entity. But 
let's say I wanted three extra spaces so I would just copy and paste it two other times and then hit save refresh and as you can see we have extra spaces after hello and there's my copyright symbol and as with the line break tag it's only one way to add spaces after characters um, when we get to more advanced videos we'll go over style sheets and it'll give us more powerful and flexible way to add space around um, text or uh, actually anything that we can imagine on on the page itself but until then keep coding